The last six months has shown a complete turnaround in European coupe production. First the Corrado G60 from Volkswagen, then the facelifted Porsche 944, and now the all-new Audi coupe. But who's buying cars like these? Well, with price tags of over £20,000, it's more likely to be the businessman after a stylish head-turner, with plenty of creature comforts and plenty of go. The Audi certainly looks the part, sleek, even menacing, but how does it perform? 0 to 60 in over 9 seconds is hardly impressive for a sports coupe, and it feels sluggish. There isn't that surge of acceleration you'd expect, especially in the lower half of the rev range. This is felt worse in first and second gears, which I feel have set too high. The gear change is rather spongy, it doesn't have that positive feel that I really like. Handling-wise, again it's not that sporty. The suspension is soft, giving it a good ride, but a fair amount of body roll on the corner. Nevertheless, it's got a confident feel to it, with good grip when cornering hard. There's nicely weighted steering, permanent four-wheel drive to help out in those most slippery of conditions, and ABS for emergency braking. The driving position has been nicely thought out, firm seating, a good sitting position, and plenty of room above my head, I'm six foot one, plenty of headroom. The verdict on performance, unremarkable but safe. So how does it fare on creature comforts? The interior specification is above average. Well, it's a little bit disappointing that the electric sunroof is an extra. The instrumentation is well laid out in front of you and easily read. Well, you have to take your eyes off the road to look at these three rather boy racer dials at the bottom of the centre of the console. And at night time, the light from is quite distracting. The stalks are complicated with the hazard lamp being one of them, but again, they're soon got used to and understood. There's a differential lock to lock the rear wheels to get yourself out of those really treacherous conditions, and conveniently, this disengages itself at 25 miles an hour. So far then, a solid car, but not especially outstanding. And with a price tag of 21500 it would be easy for the Audi to become hidden behind the competition. The supercharged Corrado is faster and will be £2,000 cheaper. The basic 944 is a fair bit dearer, but is top of the prestige table in this league. The Celica GT4 from Toyota is the same price, but has better performance and an impressive list of creature comforts as standard. But if it's style you're after, the Audi certainly has it. Taking a look around the outside, there's a lightweight plastic tailgate with this curved glass bonded in to give extra strength. Access to the boot, you might expect to start below the number plate, but the sill, in fact, is above there, giving rather awkward access to the boot. I like this parcel shelf. It doesn't attach the tailgate and throw everything off every time you open, but opens manually and holds in position. Inside, there really isn't much space, only just enough room for our single large Top Gear suitcase. The body is made of galvanised steel, which carries a 10-year guarantee, which really is most impressive. Also impressive, I feel, are the attractive lines of the car, created by this low roof line and this high body line. They minimise the glass area and therefore, Audi claim, reduce the greenhouse effect inside. Inside the rear, there's adequate space for a six-foot adult, even with the front seat fully back. There's a very comfortable armrest in the centre. Well, as you tend to expect these days, the individual rear seats will fold down to enlarge in the luggage space if need be. Now, where's the steering wheel gone? All in all, then, the Audi Coupe isn't the fastest of cars. A bit of a sheep in wolf's clothing, you might say. But if looks and image come top of your list, the Audi provides a smart, reliable coupe that will seat for, hold its value and won't rust, but be prepared to be overtaken.